I'm Roy Logan. I'm here with the Logan County Herald today. And on my on my left here is a uh, Mayor Keith Snyder, City of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Good to have you. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for having me. And Thanks for being here in the mayor's office. Wait, it's a it's a treat. <laughs> I was offered candy and everything. Um, you're you're pursuing a second term. Lucky us. Mm -hmm. What what got you started on this road anyway? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. In uh, this, I guess this would have been back in the summer of 2008. I had some uh, friends, you know, approach me and they said, uh, "Would you be interested? Have you ever thought about running for mayor?" And my honest answer was, "Nope, never have." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at the time, though, I was on the high school board, and they they talked to me a little bit more about it, and they thought they're uh, we. You know, maybe needed to talk about the future of the community, and so I sat down with with those those friends and some others, and we talked about what the future ought to look like, and uh, we thought maybe there was an opportunity to to maybe improve that future. So the more we talked, the more interested I got, and I eventually uh, threw my hat in the ring and won that first time. Was fortunate enough to be uh, selected by the voters uh, four years ago, and just you know now have uh, won the primary this first time around, and we've. We'll be on the general ballot in April, but um, I, I told people when I ran the first time that I love this community and I want to see it uh, grow and prosper and do, do anything I can to, to help that become a reality. So, um, I mean, that's still the reason why I ran the second time was because I still love Lincoln. I think we've got a, a bright future ahead of us and we just, we just all need to work together and plug away and, and we'll get there. I think you're right and I, I think you, you, you've led a strong army. You've done well. <laughs> And it's, it's been with a lot of networking and a lot of support, and it's, it's, it's a good thing to see. Um, we've known one another forever. I mean, we grew up as kids together, yep. and you've always had political aspirations. I, re I remember one of your nicknames as being Governor. <laughs> That's a, your brother came up with that, actually. And there you go. Yeah. And he still refers to you he as does, that. He does. He we does. Um, we were in Springfield recently at, uh, at the Memorial Hospital, and all of a sudden I hear, Hey, Governor! And it's, it's J.D. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yep. Um, you, you've done a lot in your first term. Why don't, why don't you give us some highlights? Sure, sure. There's, there, were, there were a lot of things. I mean, when I decided to run a second time, I thought, well, I ought to probably see what I've done. So I look back, and, and really I haven't done a lot, but I think the city's accomplished a lot because we've all done it together. I've got a great city council, and they work hard. Yes, you do. And uh, they're, do. they're good folks, and they have the best interests of the, of the community at heart. And uh, so we've been able to do a lot of things. I mean, uh, just go back a couple of years ago. We we were confronted with the the possibility of the closure of Logan Correctional Center. Yeah. And that was a that was a big deal, and that was a real threat to our community. And and the council worked hard. We had the Economic Development Partnership and the Chamber and the ASME Union. Everybody worked together, and uh, you know we were fortunate enough to keep that open. And now they're you know expanding it a bit, and we could still use more guards and you know more dollars out there. But uh, but still, that was a that was a big win for our community. And there are a couple of you know during that whole thing, there were a couple of times I look back and and there really were um, kind of mountaintop experiences for me. If as I look back on things, the march that took place from the chamber office to downtown, mm -hmm. um, we were coming down Fifth Street, and I got up on the kind of up by St. Clara's uh, at the top of Fifth Street, turned around, looked, and there were people all the way back to uh, Jackie Camel's place, just strung down fifth street yeah and that was incredible and uh then i think about the night when we had the hearing out at uh, the chapel at lcu um it was raining that night and the legislators were running late and kenny greenslate the police chief and i were worried because the, the, the chapel was not full and we were running around the chapel trying to find some ropes or something to block off the back rows because we wanted to push people down front and uh then about seven o'clock people just started coming in and they had all been outside wanting to greet the legislators, and they started coming in, and that, that whole chapel was filled, and that was, I mean, when I turned around and looked and saw that, it was, um, it still kind of gives me a lump in my throat to think about all the people of Lincoln that came together to keep that, to keep that open, so that was a highlight. Uh, we've been able to do things uh, in the community to kind of instill community pride. We've worked with the Park District, and you've been a great partner with the city, um, doing the downtown, the sidewalk chalk event, uh, doing the the painting of the railroad viaducts. Uh, well, I gotta tell you, I, I get I get it gives me pause when Kathy calls me. <laughs> that, that turns into work now. That's right. But um, she's a wonderful asset. She is. She is. Yeah, she, she's done an awful lot. Worked on the community gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gotten those established. Um, her group from the ground up uh, just has done a great job. And again, that's not 
anything that I did, but it's just people working together. We we think we're somewhere between 35 and 40,000 tulips that have gone in the ground, uh, tulip bulbs. So you know we're gonna we're planting the town red and working on that. Uh, we've also tried to do some things looking into the future. We were able to get uh, that $675,000 grant for the downtown revitalization, and we're working through that process. We put a team together to look at the high-speed rail and how that would impact our community. Uh, we were able to, to, to convince the voters to pass the electric aggregation, so that was about $200 a month that the average family is going to save. So um, the city's been able to do a lot because we've been able to uh, uh, all join together and, and try to move the city forward. That's true, and I mean we network on on a host of fronts, and uh, we we are small town USA, and that's one yeah. of the things I love about Lincoln. You know, I I don't have to show them my ID. I get the loaner <laughs> card. You know, yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. And um, but we know how to get it done. Uh huh. You know, and we we can jump through the hoops and we can follow the bureaucrats and, and we do it well. But sometimes it just takes good old fashioned elbow grease, and we got get behind her and get her done. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's right. That's you know, right. we we did those viaduct art things, and they were, it's it's beyond my ability. <laughs> you know, I I offered little more than encouragement. Yeah, I'm good at that. Uh huh. And getting you, I mean, offering you the opportunity. <laughs> That's right. To, to be a <laughs> That's part a of things. That's a good way to phrase it. Yeah. yeah. And I started to go with roped in, but you know, <laughs> I don't even realize this happened to him. That's right. Don't let anybody in on the secret. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, but the thing of it is, it's really kind of set us apart. I've heard a lot of buzz about it, and, and people don't know that we had anything to do with it, and that's not necessary either. But it's like, oh, yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah. And it, it's, they're becoming little landmarks. Yeah. Yeah, you know? It was one of the neatest things uh, for me was when we were working on the one there on College Street. They're by, in your, your old neck of the woods. Yeah. So I, my old neck of the woods. Yeah. And, uh the first day they had painted, they had some kids from the neighborhood come walk by, and they, you know, they kind of looked at it like, "This is weird. What's going on?" Well, they ended up giving them a paintbrush, and the kids painted some of those flower faces. The next day, they were bringing their friends by, saying, "Look what I did," and they really took a lot of pride in that, and it's it's been great. Well, you know, and and that was an area. Both of those were areas that gra graffiti was a constant issue, and um, I'm knock on wood and. Thank higher powers. You know, <laughs> the only thing that's been tagged with that is that somebody went back and initialed their flower, uh, sure. one of the kids. Uh -huh. And I just, I looked at that and I just grinned. <laughs> and I thought, you know, it doesn't get any cuter than that. That's right. That's right. But um, what, what's, what's in our future for us, for the city of Lincoln? Well, I think we've got a lot of neat things uh, in in the works. Uh, the downtown planning piece is, is going to be wrapping up here in the end of March and we're going to kind of move into the implementation phase. Now that obviously costs a lot of money, uh, things that municipalities don't have a lot of, but we've, we're working at some funding uh, mechanisms for that. But I think redevelopment of downtown is going to be a big focus of, of our efforts moving forward. We're going to probably pass and establish a TIF district here um, at one of our next council meetings and, and we'll be able to plow some of the growth in downtown back into downtown. Um, I think quality of life issues like having a, a, a nice downtown are going to be important for communities going forward. You talk about economic development and uh, having, having the right pieces in place for all of that. Uh, quality of life really is becoming an important thing for economic development, more so than maybe, maybe a lot of dollars because the young people of today they don't. Uh, they can go anywhere they want. Yeah. You know, they don't have to stay in Lincoln. You know, they don't. They don't even necessarily have to live in Chicago. I mean, they work with their minds, and uh, they want places that are going to allow them to relax and uh, uh, allow them to to recreate, regenerate themselves, if you will. And it's going to take quality of life issues, like having great parks, yes, and like having uh, you know a nice downtown, having a place where they could come down and get a nice meal watch a movie, have a drink, maybe listen to some music, something like that, you know, where, um, where, where they can get recharged. And that's really what it's going to be about, is having the, the, the quality of, of place as much as it is having, you know, all the typical traditional economic development pieces in place. Right. One of the things I'd like to touch on, and, and it's only because I get asked about it every so often, and when it's, when it's explained and it's understood, they have an altogether different opinion of it. But um, I'm getting responses that the a, uh, apex at the city uh -huh. center, uh -huh. it's they think that land should have been sold and 
put into infrastructure, street repair, whatever. Let's explain what that actually is. Sure. The APEX, <clears throat> the Area for Personal Enrichment and Exercise, that's what the acronym is, that's the ground of the former hospital. Uh, Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital used to sit on uh, 8th Street, and when they chose to move out to the west side, they, had, they, they took down the old hospital, which we were blessed that they did that because it could have been an eyesore for generations. Yes. So they took it down, and they uh, gave the land to the city. So they gave it to the city, not with really any strings attached, but just to say that, um, that they wanted us to have it and use it for some public purpose. So what we thought would be a good public purpose for that would be to, to use it as some type of a um, health park, wellness park, um, a facility for where people can, can take care of themselves. That land, if you will, took care of people for over a century. Yeah, it did. Because there were two hospitals located there. Kids were born there. Families uh, you know, were healed there. So we thought that was a good legacy for that land was to do something like that. And, and we've, we developed a, a committee of which you were on and others and came up with a concept for that. And we have some issues in Logan County. We've got to be serious about that because um, kind of led by their mayor, you know, we're the most obese county in, Lo in, in the state of Illinois, they say. And um, so we've got to have pit places where people can get out and do a little exercise and engage. And, and it's actually an open to the public outdoor wellness center. Yeah. Right. And, and so it's, it's, it's not a swing set and slide kind of park. In fact, right. that stuff doesn't exist in there. Right. And that, and that was by design. Right. Yeah. Um, I know that Bloomington has the Springfield other, and I know that Lincoln people are taking their kids to go to those. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's awesome that we're, we're working to bring that to us. Yeah, it's hopefully, I mean, we're trying to not use any type of general tax dollars to do that. Mm -hmm. we, we sold off the parking lot across the street, so we're going to plow those proceeds back into it. But, I mean, we're, we'd like to have a little splash area for the kids, you know, so if the kids can splash around. Mom and Dad could maybe walk a loop around. Uh, people can ride their bikes. We're hoping to have little exercise stations. So we think it, it's going to be a busy place and a place where people can uh, you know, get that exercise, regenerate their, their, their bodies and their souls, if you will, and, you and, uh, and uh, you know, be able to, to then uh, call Lincoln a great place to live. Well, we, I think we've got enough time for you to share one more thing with us. What would you like to pick? What would I like to pick? Uh, I don't know. Um, what would you like to know about? I don't, do you have a favorite project? Do I have a favorite project? Um, I, I like the downtown. Uh, I mean, I, like, I love working on downtown because we're, we're fortunate in that we already have a good downtown. We do. Um, we if, do. If we had, you know, just like block after block of vacant storefronts, um, that, that'd be one thing. But we already have a good downtown. We've got great anchors. You know, if you want to think of it like a mall, we've got Gazardos, we've got the theater, we've got uh, Three Roses, we've got Beans and Such, we've got Abe's, we've got a lot of great places downtown, MKS, Hallmark. Um, and the list goes on. Yeah, it does. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't yeah, want to, I hate, I hate you, to even Yeah, mention. exactly. There's not a side of the square that's bad. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, there's a, there's a paper, you know, an online paper that, you know, moved in, and we're trying to get them, uh, <laughs> trying to get them straightened out. But anyway, uh, no, I love working on downtown because I think it just has a lot of possibilities, and it connects to everybody. It does. Everybody has a, has a warm spot in their heart for it downtown. It is. It's Lincoln. the heart of home. Yeah, it is. So. It is. So that's fun, and... Um, I also love uh, anything to do with kids. I love, I love, you know, doing stuff with kids, going to classrooms, the sidewalk chalk thing. On that Thursday night before the art fair, if people haven't been downtown, that's one of the neatest things. And that Thursday day and that Thursday night, seeing all those kids do that sidewalk chalk, it's, it's great. So Good. I love, I love uh, doing anything with kids. I'll remember that. Well, Mayor, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You and, bet. Um, we'll get together again, okay? That'd be great. Thanks, Mayor.